Hi there, my name is Corey Gaddy, Technical Solutions Consultant for TPM. For 4 Minute Friday today, we're going to talk about updating alignments. I've been asked the question a few times in recent engagements as to how to update alignments. Users want to know if it's easier to just start an alignment from the beginning or to alter an existing alignment. We're going to look at the method for updating an existing alignment. As a bonus, I'm also going to show you how to subdivide a parcel. Okay, so let's get into the software. Okay, so we're in the software. We're in Civil 3D 2019. This is our Phantom site here. Alright, so we have two roads. Okay, and it's been determined at our pre submittal meeting that there's a large tree here that's in the middle of this road. So we need to change the alignment of that road. Okay, since the city won't allow us to remove this large tree, we we'll have to go ahead and swing our alignment to avoid that tree. So I'm going to go up here to tangent tangent with curves. Okay, under my edit alignment geometry, and I'll go ahead and click there. I'm gonna click where I want to start swinging the curve. All right, and then I'll put the end of the curve here. So I'm gonna start the next tangent. Put in a small tangent. And then I'll swing this curve back around, okay? And I can either go back to my original alignment geometry there or just keep swinging out here to a new location. All right, and I'll go ahead and hit enter to accept it. And now it's shifted my geometry for that alignment. The good thing about the way I have this set up is that I have the center line of the road as one alignment and then when I did my edge of pavement, I did an offset of the center line of the road and I also did an offset for the right of way. So they're all tied together. So when I swung that center line of the road, it swung the edge of pavement and it swung the right of way. So we could also look at our alignment in our alignment geometry window. And we can go to alignment grid view and that'll show us the parameters everything associated with our alignment and so if we needed to adjust that new radius we could do that here manually in the editor and we could change that to whatever we want it to read I'm also using parcels in this drawing okay my alignment interacts with that parcel okay so as I swung that center line of the road it also changed my parcel size for this particular parcel and the same thing for this parcel. Okay, it increased the size of that one and it decreased the size of this one as I adjusted my alignment. So they're all tied together. Since we have alignments for all these items, we have the center line of the road, the edge of pavement, and the right of way, we can use that information to subdivide this parcel into lots. So this is a residential subdivision and we can create lots out of this parcel. In order to do that, we'll go up here to Home, Parcel, Parcel Creation Tools, All right? And then we'll set up our parameters. You know, leave that the way it is, but that's our minimum area, our minimum width and depth and frontage. And we're going to use the Parcel Slide Line Create tool here. So we'll go ahead and click on Slide Line Create and click on the main icon here. All right, so it's going to ask us um, to select our layout. So we'll determine what styles we're going to use for the parcel, the labels. All right, if we want to automatically add segment labels, we can do that at this time. I'll go ahead and hit OK. All right, now it's asking us which parcel we want to subdivide. So I'll go ahead and click on this parcel label. And now it's asking us the starting point for our frontage. So I'll go up and find where I want to start my frontage. Okay. I'm just going to do the intersection of the right away there and that parcel line. I'll just follow it along just the frontage, so all along the road. And then when I get to the end, I'm going to go ahead and snap to the right away and that parcel line again at the very end. Okay. You can see the arrow is showing us the direction that it's going to run. All right, it's asking us for the angle now. This is the angle we want our parcels to come off that right away. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put a 90 in there for our lot. Okay. And it'll start creating the parcels. Okay. It's showing us parcel by parcel how it's going to create them. And I'll just hit enter to accept that layout as I go along. And at the end, we end up with this little parcel. So we can decide if that's uh, doable, feasible, or not, and then adjust that going forward. Maybe make this parcel here a little bit larger. So because we have alignments and parcels in here, we can quickly go ahead and lay out our subdivision. So that's what I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching.